7月13日，少数族裔媒体服务机构 EMS 邀请洛杉矶加大菲尔丁公共卫生与医学院流行病学教授 Timothy Brewer 博士、帝国县公共卫生局社区卫生司副司长 Rogelio Ramirez、Comite Civico d e l Valle 执行董事 Luis Almido。帝国古公平与正义联盟代表 Daniela Flores 等嘉宾分享了南加州帝国县抗疫工作取得的成绩与经验。他们认为帝王县的做法值得借鉴和推广。We had about 160 licensed beds in our community. At the height of our pandemic, we had about 260 licensed beds in our community. Uh, hospitalized uh, beds in our community, of which at some point we had 205 individuals hospitalized in late 2020. The impact to our hospitalized system was huge, and really, and you know, everyone in our community was somehow impacted, whether it was them individually or someone they knew was impacted and ended up either in the hospital or maybe they lost a loved one. We're a small community, so. Word gets around. People know each other. Our our circles are small, so、uh, people were really affected, and they were seeing these devastated impacts. As vaccinations increase, although we've had,、um, we've noticed our back our hospitalizations started to decrease along with our、uh, death rates. 帝王县人口十九万七千左右，目前总体上成人接种率百分之九十一点七，青少年接种率百分之七十三点二。均大大高于全加州和全国平均水平，但在过去两年新冠疫情中，南加州帝王县从感染、住院和死亡的重灾区，改变为目前加州疫情最轻、健康、恢复最快的地区，其疫苗接种率排行全加州甚至全国最高，引起广泛关注。If you're unvaccinated, you're about five times more likely to become infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, than someone who's been vaccinated and boosted. You're about seven times more likely to end up in the hospital if you're unvaccinated than someone who's been vaccinated if you became infected with the COVID-19 virus, and you're about eight times more likely to die. Than someone who's not been vaccinated. So getting those vaccines and boosters out are incredibly important. 值得注意的是，洛杉矶县最近两周新冠感染确诊案例和死亡率显著上升，一度被认为已经走远的新冠疫情重新肆虐，使接种疫苗成为坊间话题。帝王县的疫苗接种经验以及对该地区总体抗疫效果和长远健康的影响，值得洛杉矶县。乃至加州及全美国在防疫工作中学习与借鉴。全美电视台记者洛杉矶采访报道。